Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video, let's take a look at this uh, nebulizer that I got from somebody. Uh, somebody gave this to me and apparently they were not using it anymore. It does work and the way it works is basically it has two openings and it sucks air from one of the openings and it compresses the air and sends it through the other opening. The other opening goes into uh, a small uh, container or uh, mouthpiece so that when you're taking medicine you can take deep breaths with the help of the compressor which generates a higher pressure uh, outside so that you're able to take deep breaths and because of deep breathing uh, you are able to absorb the maximum of that uh, uh, medicine that you are trying to absorb so this one is from Lupin now Lupin is a company they make uh, a lot of things medical related things so without any further delay let's uh, try to use uh, open it and see what's inside and i'm going to be turning this or using it as a if it works at all i'm going to be using it as a, a aquarium air pump now it takes about six volt if you uh, take a look you can see that it takes about a six volt i do have a six volt adapter but the problem is uh, the pin that it takes is not compatible uh, with this uh, um, compressor or nebulizer so let me just open it and see what inside and let's connect some wire to it and see whether it is pumping air or not but let me just open it so I've done opening it and let's see what is inside so there we go looks like there is a small uh, motor and there is a lot, some kind of a rolling pump and there must be a small valve in there so when it rotates it sucks the water from one side and then the valve closes and the only way for the air to go is the other side and then the air has to rush through that uh, area in order to uh, work so let me just attach some wire I've got a small adapter here and since I haven't got the compatible uh, pin I'm going to be using some alligator clips to make it work so let's grab some of the alligator clips a red one and a black one so here is the switch I want to bypass the switch completely so let me just connect one via the red to the uh, to the red and the other to the yellow okay now our connection is complete let's just connect that to our adapter this is a 5 volt adapter that I'm using so let's just connect the red to the red wire there we go and the black to the black wire so you can hear it running And I can tell that this is sucking air from this side and this is throwing air in this direction. So if I put, let me just turn it off. Now if I connect a piece of air tubing to one of the openings let's say here and it fits without much problem and if I connect this into put this into water we should get some air flow so let me just turn it on again
I am getting some air so let me just connect it to a container and see whether it is working or not so everything is set up I've connected a piece of air tube to the uh, pump it is airtight now it is sucking water from this area and this putting throwing the air into this tube and then I filled this container with some water to see whether it is working or not so let's just take the our pipe and put this inside our tank and if we are getting some air we should be able to get uh, some bubbles inside this tank so let me turn the pump on here is the adapter that I'm using the pump is running and you can see it is working as an air pump which is not a, a very unique or weird thing so if you have which is very unlikely if you but if you do have a nebulizer that nobody is using you can convert that into a air pump for your fish tank I'm not sure how long this will work but you can definitely use it in emergency situations So there we go this was my video on this uh, nebulizer hopefully you enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video bye